What's going on guys? My name is Jason Park with Hypitude Productions. I am a feature filmmaker. I've made five movies and we're currently in pre-production on our sixth film, Speed Faster. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about, you know, some reasons why you should get the Blackmagic Pixis camera. So this is for all of my, my indie filmmakers, professionals in the industry, someone that's just getting started, someone that wants to do, you know, skateboard videos, videos with your friends or your family, it just doesn't matter. What I'm gonna talk about is, is gonna cover a few things in a range of, of different scenarios, right? So one of, the, one of the main reasons why I would say, hey, pick up the Pixis camera is that 6K resolution. And the reason why I say that 6K resolution is so important is most films in Hollywood, they're shot in 8K, 12K, 6K, and then they're rendered down to 4K or 1080p. And just being able to shoot in 6K gives you that robustness of, of your project. It gives you that flexibility. You can punch in, but it also gives you that crispiness, right? Sometimes you see something you're like, man, how did they get it so crispy? And sometimes it's just taking this big image and then kind of compressing it down right that 6k will last the test of time so if you capture something in 6k and even if you render it down to 4k and it's really sharp and you want to go look at it in you know 30 years that 6k is still going to look really nice right uh it's not like the days of of vhs and 480p where now you look at 480p and you're like man that's barely visible but you can go still enjoy a dvd from an old movie right? And that was 480p. That was just standard definition. It didn't become HD until 720 and 1080p, which 6K is just way above that. Number two, I would say this would be more for like the professionals. It's the rigability, right? The main reason why you would go and get a Pixis is the rigability. It's modular. The whole design from the ground up is modular. You can put your stand, you can put your, your external SD cards, your cage, your top handle, your external monitor, your mic mount, your, it's just, it's meant for those that like to rig out their setup and have the customize, uh, uh, customizability to add or take away things in that box format that the community has been asking for, for all of these years. And the sensor, that full frame sensor that's in the Blackmagic Cinema camera, uh, full frame camera and the Pixis camera is such a beautiful sensor. It's one of the best sensors out on the market today. And I've shot with, with the Sony FX3, I've shot with the Red Komodo, I've shot with you know the Blackmagic cameras. And what this 6K sensor is able to produce is just absolutely beautiful. I call it milky it has that milkiness that you're after right um it doesn't have the dynamic range of an Ari alexa or a red raptor but it's not needed because there's never there's never a moment where the average consumer is watching a show or a movie and they're looking at the highlights and the shadows and they're being like oh i can see detail like the average consumer doesn't care and those 13 plus stops of dynamic range in the pixis camera is more than enough to create a beautiful image. And when I tell you that the sensor is milky and it's beautiful, it's a beautiful sensor. Um, people will talk about global shutter and, and, and that stuff and the fact that it doesn't have it and it has rolling shutter and you get the jello effect, but until you realize what that is, you're not even aware of it anyway, so it's irrelevant. And then it comes with free DaVinci Resolve, so you could click the gyro and fix that Anyways, but most people will never notice it, so it's just something that's irrelevant. And I've shot, I've shot action films um, with the Blackmagic Pocket Camera, and that compared to the Red Komodo, it's just no one cares. At the end of the day, no one cares. If you create a good story, a compelling story, a good shot film, um, nobody cares. Um, another reason why you'd pick up the Pixis is the price point. You cannot get a better quality picture at that price point of the 3000 2800 like you can't get anything better that's going to produce those images that's at 6k that gives you b raw that lets you shoot at higher frame rates even though it's cropped in um that gives you that that flexibility to shoot that price range it's literally competing i think um cam mackie said it right 
It's the everyone's Ari Alexa. And it, that statement couldn't be more true. That's one of the truest statements I think I've heard when it comes to especially the full frame sensor, the Blackmagic Cinema and the Pixis cameras. It's the Ari Alexa for the everyday man. Because if you light the scene right and you shoot something and someone shoots that exact same scene in the Ari Alexa, yeah, it, it's, it's going to be a little bit better. But unless someone puts it side by side, you'll never know the difference and you'll never know. And it is the thing that gives everybody, the you, the me, the indie filmmakers, the no budget filmmakers, the budget filmmakers, the opportunity to go and shoot something epic that we weren't able to shoot 20 years ago. Right. So it, it, it Cam Mackey really that that is such a beautiful uh, statement regarding the Pixis, the, the, the black magic, this full frame sensor. It's just a, an amazing camera for all of the, the do it yourselves or even the professionals out there. Um, another reason why I would consider especially the, the Pixis or any black magic camera really is that you get DaVinci Resolve with it. You get a free studio license of DaVinci Resolve. And if you're in Premiere or you're in another editing software, DaVinci Resolve is, is starting to become the industry standard. And it's such a powerful tool that you're able to take your projects from, you know, something that's very simple and flat and maybe you have a little color to, to super dynamic where you can power grade windows and do all this good stuff and stabilize your footage and convert it to film. Like there's just so much you could do with it and it's free within you purchasing the camera. Another reason why uh, I think it would be beneficial for anyone to get the Pixis camera is that you can choose your L mount, your EF mount. It, it has the flexibility, right? And with those mounts, those different mounts, you're able to hold on longer to your current glass uh, collection, especially if you have it within those mounts, and use them and adapt them to the new camera. Because as many of you may or may not know, Glass is the most is one of the most important things when it comes to shooting films, right? I only shoot films. I don't I don't shoot commercials. I don't shoot anything else. I only shoot films. Um, and glass is really a big differentiator in the quality of the project. So what I mean by that is, let's say we have it nicely lit and everything is is good, right? This has, you know, a kit lens, this has some freaking 30,000 prime lens or whatever, and then this has some okay lenses. You'll, you'll be able to see the difference within those lenses because there's just different characteristics. There's different smoothnesses. There's, it's kind of like, you know, alcohol, right? The smoother it is, the better it is. With lenses, when you invest that $5,000 into that glass or that 2000 or 1200 or whatever, the case may be it's like you want to use that for as long as you can so being that it has those 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 different mount options is very important and the l mount alliance is, is a great thing um, another thing is the battery solution within the pixis uh, people are reporting great great um, time with those batteries especially the runtime and just the flexibility in power options right whether it's your v mounts your bricks anything like that it's it's a great solution so overall I would say the beautiful thing about these cameras that are coming out, especially from Blackmagic, it's the simplicity of that operating system, which is unmatched. It's unmatched. I don't care if it's red, or like it's, it's unmatched. The OS in these Blackmagic cameras are the best in the industry, hands down doesn't even come close because I can go and set things up and change things within seconds and I'm already ready to start shooting the next thing. So if you're on the fence and, and, and the question is, okay, well, who was this camera for? Outside of saying, hey, these Blackmagic cameras or the Pixis in specific, they're for everyone. I would say that the Pixis is for the filmmakers that love to reg up their setup. They love to have their external monitors. They, they like that, that bigger build, right? They like having their tools attached to their camera. That is definitely, the Pixis is the way to go because you're just, at that price point, you're not gonna get better. And if you go from like, let's say 3,000 and you step up from to 6,000 to like a red Komodo, right? Cause they, they recently uh, dropped their prices or even the Komodo X. Like, yeah, you're gonna get better image quality with the red cameras. You're gonna get better um, 
uh, color depth, right? But it's so small that if you had that money to spend, you would be better off getting something like the Pixis and then getting like a badass $3,000 lens, right? That will take you further than just buying the body of something else that the differences in quality is like one point, 1.5 points. They're so small. So if you're on the fence about picking up a Blackmagic camera uh, and you're looking at the Pixis, I would definitely say go Pixis. Now I will say this, I shoot on the cinema camera 6K full frame. I just shot our, our recent film, uh, Rhino King on it, and we're about to shoot Speed Faster on it. I wouldn't personally get the Pixis because I already have the cinema camera 6K and image quality for me is just all I need, right? I like simple setups, simple builds. That would be a side, that wouldn't be a progression, that would be a side step. So I wouldn't necessarily make that move. And I don't think that, you know, if you have the cinema camera 6K that you should make that move. Now, if you don't have a black magic, let's say you have, you know, an old Ursa or you're thinking about moving into black magic space and you're looking at their cameras, you know, hey, if you have the money, go get the Ursa 12K LF, right? Um, but if you can't get that, um, then I would say go for the Pixis because you're getting um, the newer sensor with the tweaks. You're getting the box style body. You can rig it out to your desires. And you don't really know exactly what you like when it comes to a camera until you start shooting. So that's my advice. I'm Jason Park with HyperTube Productions. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy shooting. Happy Halloween. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Christmas. Happy everything. Go on living your life. Go shoot. Talk to you guys later.